This week in Epixel Skyblock, a few things happened, and in this video, I'll be covering most of them. The alpha server was opened recently, and there they have added something that completely breaks the game. You can now remove attributes from the Crimson Isles armor sets. To do this, you need the Kudra washing machine and an anvil. Also a weird quirk, but it seems the Wheel of Fate doesn't work if you remove the attributes. Centauri now has new items and features. You can now get the Kudra washing machine, Wheel of Fate, and all of the attribute shards here. You can also dupe your items through him. So if you want to test different items with different attributes, or just want max Kudra armor, you should use this feature. Now the biggest change is, you can add attributes to items that don't come with attributes naturally, as long as the attribute is compatible with the item type. For the alpha server, all you have to do is use the slash attribute menu command. And you can then add attributes using attribute shards. But according to the devs, this is subject to change. And there could be a completely different method for adding attributes. This change is massive, as you can now own Deadeye Terminators and Breeze Mana Region Storm Armor. Meaning Aurora is only better than Storm once you reach Fiery tier. And Storm should still be better, as you can add any attribute you want without spending a bunch of coins on a Kudra washing machine. There's also gonna be a new meta necklace for mages, the Synthesizer V3. As you can add any attribute you want, and you can also upgrade it to give plus 60 mana. I'll link a guide to it in the description. Also, if the testing goes well, attributes will be obtainable from places outside the Crimson Isles. The Menda Crown, Menda Fedora, and the Menda Helmets have been massively nerfed, as the Mending stat will not scale according to your Kata level, which is a huge nerf, as the only reason people preferred the Menda Crown over the Reaper Mask is because of the high healing. But since it's been nerfed, the best tank helmet for M7 is the Bonzo Mask. Now the major issue people have with this change is that, it will destroy god rolls, making Kudra less profitable. But I honestly don't think so, as the shards are still going to be really valuable, especially Deadeye, Mana Pool, Veteran and Magic Find, meaning you can still make bank off of Kudra. And I don't think the value of god rolled items will drop a lot, as we don't know how rare the Kudra washing machine is going to be. The other issue I have with this update is, our non-Crimson Isles items have a clear advantage when it comes to god rolls as you don't need to use a Kudra washing machine. So I think the admin should add a feature like dungeonizing, so non-attributed armor sets can be attributorized or something. Miniclune has leaked this. The greatest magic comes from the courage to venture into the unknown. Wayne, misspelled, My misspelled Michael Scott, literal clown, and homework. Epixel had an event for its 10th anniversary, and the winners have been announced. I'll link the post in the description. There's also a 10% skill XP buff. I forgot to mention, but there were a few backend changes on Alpha, so keep an eye out for any missing or inaccurate data on your profile. If you watched the video, please thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, please like this video. If you liked this video, please like this video. If you liked this video, please like this video.